Welcome back to Control. We need to head to the ashtray maze to try to track down the slide projector. But first, apparently we have some things to talk about with Emily. Hello, Jesse. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the his babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different his corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. I've been seeing these darling presentations all over. Seems like he enjoys the limelight. So you noticed, huh? When he recruited me out of college, he actually came to visit. He interrupted my physics course by shouting, uh, not quite, professor, and then marching down to the front of the class where he proceeded to berate the very idea of laws of thermodynamics. Hey, he's been a showboat all his life. Darling visited you in college? Yeah, he read a paper I'd published, came to recruit me for the bureau. I accepted and then spent years waiting for access to the confidential research that Darling promised me. And whenever I ask about my access level, he just mumbles that it's temporarily postponed and then changes the subject to the effect of entropy on luck. I wonder who else Darling hid his work from. Marshall? Trench? Have you learned anything about Dylan's condition? Only that he's definitely his, but I guess his chanting made that pretty obvious. You know, interestingly, the words of the his incantation have an average length of four letters. The most common word used seven times is want. The next most common are through and time. That's very interesting, don't you think? I don't care about the words. What about my brother? Right. Sorry, I got a little off track. Well, strangely, his tissue samples all look healthy, unlike the other his I've tested. That's good news. Right? I wanted to talk to you about the crazy things I can do. My abilities. I get the sense that they're not very... usual around here. Well, usual and unusual aren't really benchmarks at the Bureau, but for some perspective, Director Northmore once used the floppy disk to send a bowling ball six yards through the air, and that was considered a huge deal. So compared to that, you are most certainly an outlier. An outlier. I like the sound of that. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. So, the turntable, Tomasi. I'm guessing that that is probably what's going to allow us to get to... We have some ability points left to spend. That's probably what's going to allow us to get to this place here with the question marks where I couldn't access before. The one place I can't access in this whole thing. So, let's see what we can get and what astral constructs can we make now that we couldn't before. I said there was something new. What? Jukebox tokens? Something new here? I don't know. You know, I am curious if I can make any good mods by upgrading this. I'd have to upgrade it to level 5, I think, to get anything good. Before I even spend resources to make mods. So how much would it cost? I mean, 5,000, that's sure. 5,000 more? Sure. Oh, just flat fee? Doesn't go up? We can go more than five? Uh, I guess not. I'm not sure why I can still click this. Oh, now it's something different. Yeah, I'm out of source and I need shifting fragments. Okay. Is there anything better than a level 5 mod, though? So what would upgrading this do? Maybe just make these that are level 4 level 5? So everything would be 5? So... Looks like the most expensive things about mods 
is just source for the most part. Or sorry, the opposite of that. Source is the cheapest thing. A thousand, that's like nothing. But the crafting ingredients are quite a bit more rare. So I can refresh the mods if I want to get a whole new set if I don't like these. So is there anything good here? Um, Obscured personal mod. So it's random. I wonder if the type that it is maybe affects... Wait, no, they're all obscured. It's not like a special type. Prime, absolute, absolute. Okay, well then, yeah, might as well just do it and see what we get. I guess. Health boost plus 42%. I don't know if that's better than what I've got. But now I can't make anything, so that's the end of that. <laughs> What's still new in Astral Constructs? What? What do you want me to see? It still thinks there's something new. Okay, sure. Three points. More ground slam damage, more levitate duration, that would all be good. Energy will recover while shield is active, that would be really good. Not that I have to use my shield very often, but when I do, that would be great. But to get there, I would need 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I need 10 points in total to be able to get there. Let's do it, though. I can't believe I'm actually investing in the shield. It's been a little while since I've played, by the way, so I might be a little bit rusty. Tomasi! This is where the question mark is. I should probably make it the active mission. What is that rock? Know that even existed. Damn, I almost got to Mossy. Not a good time.
Oh, it's coming. Oh shit. Always gets me. Yeah, got it. Health. Health. Ow. Music hasn't stopped. There's more. Ah. This rock has such particular angles. Like it's been cut to be this way. Sterling Summary A paranatural object appeared in a field outside the town of Sterling, Colorado, near a billboard advertising No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported as missing since the event. Oh. 
Local authorities arrived on the scene and began issuing orders over a monitored line of communication using several watchwords flagged by the Bureau. Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained and analysis began. Bureau research staff arrived the next day and examined the object. After days of evaluation, the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in Blackrock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via the subway transit system leading into the oldest house. This obviously must be the object then. Man, what are those voices? If this was the object, then they must have, what, cut bits off of it? Because there's other chunks all around here, too. Supplement. Local witnesses report a bright flash in the field at approximately no noise accompanied the light. Authorities had assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested there, vaporizing the soil around it in an intense spherical, which possibly explains the light seen from the town. The object is a hollow sphere made of a stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not on record, the sphere has a broken portion as if something from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau. The communications department officially stated to the press that the object was a small meteor, while also using the America Overnight program to note this altered world event will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe to be transferred to the investigations sector. hollow sphere made of a stone-like material. Well, it's not a sphere anymore, but apparently that's hollow. You're listening to America Overnight, now in our 29th year, lifting the veil between fiction and reality. Thank you for staying up with us. I've been getting a lot of calls about this meteor in Sterling, Colorado. There were reports of a large spherical container that crash landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would so they planted those artifacts to be found so that they'd think, yes, they did cover something up, but it's not what they actually covered up. It wasn't a UFO. This thing's very eerie. And those noises, are they coming from it? Yeah, I didn't think that'd work. 
how many points did we get? Three. Okay, we can get the next level of shield. And then after that, with four points, we can recover energy while the shield's active. Uh-huh, I was thinking there could be something new with Ahti, and there is. What a mess. Even more mold. <laughs> this thing is completely living from the mitten. Perker, eh? Saatana. Helvetin helvet. Oma tulossa ja tällaista paskaa. I didn't catch the whole thing, but that was basically a bunch of curses. And Pasca means shit. Pasca. Off to the coolant pumps. Mold's gotten in here too? Alright. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. <laughs> Is it exactly? I don't know, there's a lot of things that look like mold in here. Hmm, maybe not. That's. Oh, yeah. Suspicious. Dang, that might be really hard to spot. There's one. I'm taking the tactic of just using area of effect because, gosh, they're hard to see. Oh, that got one. Ooh, that's one up there. Yep. Ooh. One more. Oh, there it is. I have an idea about the furnace. I listened to that message again. It's in the room from that researcher saying the furnace can speak, it's alive. And it said that it, it basically implied that it eats people, I think. That was the implication I got from it. I still think the TVs with fire on them are definitely a thing, but I went out there all the way to the NSC power plant top floor, killed someone, one of the hiss, took their body, and now let's feed them a people. Look at that stretchy neck. Maybe that message is just a, a joke. I don't think it is, though. New mission, what a mess. Take a break. Is that from Ahti? Uh, it doesn't have a description. Uh, hold on, let's let's just go into the room. I wanted to see if they have anything more for us. I guess I just take a seat. This is what being a janitor is all about. <laughs> oh, it looks like we got an outfit for being a really good janitor. I suppose the janitor's assistant does need proper janitor attire. Oh, heck yeah. No comment? No, like, dang, you're a good janitor. Let's spend our points and check out the outfit. Got six points, so enough to regenerate energy while using a shield, plus two left over. Hmm. I guess levitate would be the next one I want to focus on, definitely. Let's go with, oh, duration. I need three points for that, so I guess I'll save my points. Outfit. That's a janitor. It's oh, these uniform. I think that's the same hair. Yeah. 
Yeah, so far there, every single one's the same hair except for expedition gear. <laughs> There's even a little bit of cloth physics on that rag in Jesse's butt pocket. What do we got? We got pliers, it looks like a hammer. Nothing in that pocket. Rag. I mean, this is kind of basically what my job is here. I'm just cleaning everything up. My god, this place is a mess. But I do think I'm going to go back to the expedition gear. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to head to the ashtray maze. <laughs>